friends, let me tell you a story of Pentecost. There was a pastor in Fall River, Massachusetts, working with the PCUSA, the Presbyterian Church. And I was a pastor of undocumented people, and uh, it was not uh, an easy uh, ministry. I remember one day I was going to the post office, and there was a line of cars to get into the parking lot. And uh, uh, I spot behind my car opened, and the person behind me just went into that spot and took the uh, the uh, the space. So I went to that person and 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 said, "Excuse me, didn't you see that? Um, it was my turn. It is not you. We should have waited." The person didn't budge. So I asked again, in the third time, uh, saying. Uh, excuse me, but you were in line, and I was supposed to go first. And then the person opened the window, window and said, this spot, as anything else in this country, is for the uh, citizens of this country and not for immigrants who shouldn't be here. I was so angry that I don't know. I, I, I don't remember uh, what happened after that. I just remembered that I went back to my car and I, I had to, to stay in that parking lot. I finally found a space and put my car there and, and I stayed there for two or three hours. And so it was a Friday and I had to dis decide if I would bring that up to the church on Sunday. And then on Sunday I decided that I would, I would mention it to them. So I, we used to record the services for those who couldn't come because a lot of people worked on Sundays. So I, I asked them to close the door and to, to shut down the video. And then I said, here's what happened to me. And I, and I told them. And it was such a silence. And I said, and I now want to know if any of you felt that in this country and literally everybody raised their hands and I said so let's share it and people started to tell their experiences and there was crying and there was anger and there was so much difficulties and while they were telling those stories I didn't know what to do I said goodness I cannot hold just keep this in this in this in this it is so healing uh, and transform transformative but at the same time it's so heavy so then I, I said you know we, our lives are made of of that but our lives are also made of gestures of kindness filled with the Spirit. And we are here today because there are people who loved us and people who cared for us. And it is here that we have to learn how to love ourselves. It is here that we, we, we learn also from our uh, black brothers and sisters that in their worship service, they are turned into somebodies. Outside, they are nobody, but in the church, they are somebody. And so I said, there are people also that love us and is with us. And there's the love of God. And there's the spirit that moves, that makes us somebody. And then the spirit starts to feel and start to feel and then you start singing and you start crying and the church went over for I don't know how long but it was a long time since we felt the spirit coming and washing away all of that those experiences not to <coughs> deny not to for uh, to forget but to put the pain in some form of collective uh, uh, healing through the movement of the Holy Spirit and for me this is one of one I have others but this is one of the most powerful Pentecost experiences uh, I have lived in that congregation the Spirit coming resurrecting us when we are 
when we feel that we are dying. Resurrecting us from our own ashes and bringing the fire. Every time the ashes come, the next time the fire of the Holy Spirit.